one shot them. Boom. They all sit down. Hey guys, super excited about the video today. Uh, it's a really, really different type of video, but I'm really, really excited to make this content. So I think I have a new favorite rare in the game. And this is on my main account. This isn't somebody I pulled on my uh, free-to-play account, but this is a person I've seen videos on before. I've always wanted to make a video on, and I saw another video that really inspired me to make this because this champion is actually super versatile. Um, I'm going to show you my favorite usage first. I'm going to go over the kit, and then we can kind of go into some other optional builds. So the champion, maybe you guys have seen it, maybe you haven't, but it's a rare orc, and it's ironclad. And this guy is awesome. Let's go through his kit and see what makes him so cool. He's got an A1, attacks one enemy, chance of placing heal reduction based on HP and attack. Nothing cool about that. A2, removes one random debuff from all allies, places increase, a small increased attack on all allies. Nothing cool about that. Those are his only two skills. So what is it? It's his passive. Bloodburst, when healed, will attack all enemies, inflicting damage proportional to any surplus heal. Damage inflicted is equal to 50% of any surplus heal. So the way this works is, say he's at full health, and he gets healed for 30% of his health. Say he's got 100,000 health, which is a ton, then he would be getting healed for 30,000, and then he would deal damage based off of half of that, which is 15,000. But this hit can be a crit, and it can ignore defense. So we're going to use him in the arena today, and I'll show you the setup first. All right, guys, I, I can barely contain myself. I think this is so cool. It's not by any means like a super meta strategy. I'm not saying you should go build this team, but I am saying that it works, and it is actually pretty cool. So we're going to go Arbiter Speed Lead because she's my fastest champion. We're going to go with Lydia to decrease defense and weaken. And then we're actually going to go down here to two rares. We have Ironclad and we have Apothecary. Now, I will say Apothecary is good at this, but there is a better champion, and that's Woad Painted, who has the highest uh, heal in the game or biggest heal at, uh, ability in the game, but I just don't have her. Okay, so we're going to try this team. It should go Arbiter Speed Boost, Lydia Drop Defense, and Weaken, Apothecary Heal. Okay, we do go first. Increase turn meter. Hopefully Molly doesn't cut in, but she might. Awesome, she does not. Okay, so Apothecary heals by 35%. This heal can be critical. Let's go ahead and go to Ironclad here. Boom, 64, 58. Lydia blocks revive. We'll go ahead and end this. Apothecary should actually, I mean not Apothecary. Uh, he should just also hit kind of hard. See if we can find a bit of a squishier team, maybe. Here we go. Let's try this one. I think we should be able to. I want to one shot them. Uh, it's a little bit harder. I'm in gold five, so I'm facing some pretty solid teams here. It's going to be tough to one shot, you know, really, really tankily built champions. All right. Let's boost turn meter, decrease defense, and weaken. Here we go. Let's try again. Come on, Ironclad. One shot them. Boom. They all sit down. That's what I'm talking about. Ironclad, 125,000 damage. He didn't even take a turn. He doesn't even need to. Let's see if we can find another squishier team. Hegemon's going to mess us up. She's not going to be able to kill a... Here we go. Let's try this team. Got my free-to-play going on in the background. Uh, still trying to continue that grind. I'll probably post episode 3 pretty soon. So let's fight these guys. We're way faster. Increase turn meter. Decrease defense and weaken. Got them everywhere. And let's go for the heal. Smack. Oh, 40,000. He did get a weak hit here, which is definitely possible. Going with A1. Another weak hit. That's terrible luck. Aubrey goes in and finishes the job. So he has force affinity. So definitely weak hits are a option. Um, let's see if we can find one more. Squishier team. Let's try this one. Got a Magnar in here, uh, but pretty low team power. So I think that there's a good chance we can one shot them. I do think this is a lot better if you're like in low gold or high silver. I think it's just a lot easier to one shot, but it's hard to build, you know, with enough crit rate, crit damage, and HP. I will say Apothecary is not the best for this, but let's do it one last time. Should be able to one shot them. Kill the Magnar. Weak affinity. <sighs> Didn't get a weak hit, but he didn't kill him either. 
he finishes him off there with the weak hit, another 114,000 damage. So that's usage number one. I think that's really fun. Um, I have seen a lot of people use him in Doom Tower floors. Here we go, rare champions only. Finally, we found it. I'll probably cut the rest out. So we've got our Apothecary, and we're gonna do the HP aura for Ironclad. Now, the one of the issues with using him in PvE content is, which he's probably better for that, to be honest. He's got more actual use cases there. Is that he's got a one-turn cooldown on this ability. But that being said, let's see what he does here. Boom, one shots the wave. That's what I'm talking about. So we'll just go one turn. We'll just wait a little bit. We'll smack somebody here. We're back. He's taking a turn. It's off cooldown. We'll speed up. We'll A1. And then guess what, guys? We're doing it again. Oh, he didn't quite finish him off. But point is, it's easy. It's actually a really solid strategy. I mean, this is a two-man team. And if you're struggling to do this, your gear isn't quite as good, you just throw three more champions in here. But you can see he absolutely carried there. Um, and he's great for that. So let me go over the next build. I'm actually not going to build him out like this, but I just want to show you guys what he can do. So what's interesting is anytime he goes, so he's at 100 or he's below 100, anytime he goes past 100, that's when it becomes a surplus heal. And he hits for a part of that. And obviously for nuking, you want that to go as high above 100 as you can. But that procs is an AoE hit. And so what you can do, you can proc War Master off that. If you have Phantom Touch, you can proc Phantom Touch off of that. But you can also put them in different sets that will proc off that AoE. For example, the Day Set. If you put them in here, 25% chance to put them to sleep. The, let's see, Stun Set. He heals over 100. He has an 18% chance of placing a stun. The provoke set, 30% chance of placing a provoke. And the one that I think is the best, the toxic set. So every time he heals past, he can do, he's got 75% chance of placing a small poison on everybody. And what's cool about that is you can put him in four piece toxic and two piece immortal. So if he's got full health, he should be surplus healing every turn. And then AOE hitting, not for much, he's not nuking at this point, but he's putting poisons out like crazy, so you can actually become like a super dependable AOE poison placer. And some people have used that to solo content, I think the build's pretty intensive to do that, but I think if you're struggling somewhere else, maybe you've got nobody else that can do that, place poisons for you, I think that's definitely an option. Because he's also going to hit with his A1, and place those there, I'd probably turn off the A2, and just heal and do the A1 over and over and over again and just play a place a buttload of poisons. So that's it for the video today, guys. Um, just really cool. I don't want to take super long, but I really, really enjoy this champion. Just so unique. Like passives like this are some of my favorite in the game. They just like champions are so unique and interesting, and that just makes it so much more fun for me and for everybody, and that's one of my favorite things about Raid. So I hope you guys liked it. Uh, I'm going to be back to posting some more of my regular clan boss content and stuff like that. But I wanted to throw this out here just because I thought it was fun. And hope you guys enjoy. And who knows, maybe it can help you. Anyways, I'll see you in the next video. Please leave a like and subscribe.